I've seen many articles saying that RAG is dead and has been replaced by agentic retrieval, but is that really the case? I will explain both approaches, compare them and come to a conclusion. But why do we need any of this in the first place? Of course, because of AI. Classic LLMs are nice, but they will always respond from their general knowledge. But what if you want to chat with this 4 hour long podcast and get answers only from there? You might want to ask, what advice did they give about entrepreneurship? If you simply take the entire video, grab the entire transcript and pass it to the LLM to answer, it won't work because of a few reasons. First, it's gonna be really expensive because LLMs charge per number of input and output tokens. Input is massive here and if you want to continue the chat, for every prompt you will need to pass the entire transcript because LLMs are stateless. And even if cost would not be a problem, performance is because the more you input, the slower the response is. But sometimes it's even not possible because LLMs have limited context. For our case, yes, we might be able to pass the entire transcript, but what if we're chatting with 20 massive books? It simply would not be possible. So in a smart way, you want to retrieve only the relevant parts from the transcript and pass them to the LLM to answer. And this smart retrieval is what RAG and agentic retrieval are. They are two different approaches for grabbing the relevant context. Before retrieving, which happens with every prompt, we first need to store the document, which happens only once. We grab the transcript from a podcast, split it into chunks and store it in a vector database as embeddings. Smart models like Text Embedding Tree Large take care of that. And when we retrieve, we want to find the most relevant chunks. It has to be a vector database because AI is all about vectors. Graphic cards are good for vectors too, that's why Nvidia is blooming. Without vectors this would not be possible because regular search would be way too slow. Ok, so let's now talk about RAG. Imagine that the podcast is split into 100 chunks and stored in a vector database. Now when you ask what advice did they give about entrepreneurship, RAG will grab similar chunks from the vector database in one run. You decide how many chunks, let's say 5, so it will grab 5 chunks, pass them to the LLM and you get the response. But what if you need to grab 15 chunks because they talked about entrepreneurship way more? Well, that's the problem. RAG will ignore them. It will only get the most relevant n chunks and everything else will be ignored. And here's where agentic retrieval comes. While RAG will only do a one-shot similarity search, agentic retrieval will decompose the question into multiple sub-queries and run them in parallel or sequence. Agents will decide where to search, write additional queries and in the end decide when it's done. So you are certain that if the advice about entrepreneurship is split across 15 different chunks, you'll get all of them. And now that you know a bit more about both processes, let's compare them across speed, quality and cost. Speed RAG is the absolute winner. Its one-time similarity search is extraordinarily fast. Obviously way faster than spinning up multiple agents, rewriting queries, doing additional checks and so on. Quality. The short answer is of course agentic retrieval. But what if, even though the advice about entrepreneurship is split across 15 different chunks, those five are simple enough? Because you don't want an answer that takes 10 minutes to read. So even though RAG sounds a bit dumb compared to agents here, in many cases it works very well and agents are simply an overkill, but agents still definitely win here. And finally, cost. RAG is again a clear winner here. You can imagine that spinning up multiple agents and doing a lot of extra processing comes with a price and we know that AI tech stack is pretty expensive. And what's better? Well, depends on the use case. There's no need to label something as better or worse. If you have a massive existing codebase and you want to add a new feature within Cursor, then Agentic Retrieval will for sure do a better job. Codebase needs to be smartly analyzed to make sure you don't miss anything and quality is a priority here. You would rather wait one minute and get relevant codes than wait five seconds and get some garbage. Classic RAG might be good for chatting with a few files, but not the entire codebase. On the other side, let's say that you're actually speaking with a podcast in an app like Second Brain. When you ask what advice did they give about entrepreneurship, you expect the result to come fast. Also, when you ask more subsequent questions, you don't want to wait one minute for each response. Speed is a priority here, but as said, the quality will be more than enough. So to answer that final question, is RAG dead? Absolutely not. Before, RAG was the only solution. For many cases, it was enough. 
for some it wasn't enough and for some it wasn't even possible. And those use cases can be replaced with agentic retrieval, when the quality is absolute priority and it doesn't really matter that it will take a while, agentic retrieval wins. But also be aware that it's more complex to implement them and maintain them. So next time you're thinking agentic retrieval or RAG, ask yourself, is RAG enough? Comment down below and share your thoughts and subscribe to get more stuff like this from this channel.